Hey everybody, hello, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? I hope you had a very nice weekend and uh, you are ready for the English classes. And uh, well, uh, this is not the last uh, week, but we're going to finish the class next Tuesday. I guess it's October 10th. So yeah, we are in October already, but time flies when you have fun. Uh, we're going to start by checking the attendance. So let's see how it goes. Ana Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Yeah. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Yeah. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Hi, teacher. Here. Very good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Good evening, I'm here. Good evening. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. José Figueroa Cisneros. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yasmín Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present, teacher. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, teacher. Very good. Perfect. Okay, so. Present, teacher. Sandra Gómez. Ah, perfect. Hello, Sandra. How are you? Okay. Nice. Very good. Let me just go here. Okay. We're going to start with a little video. Okay. This is about uh, the grammar that we checked last week. And then we're going to continue with the book. Okay, so let's see how it goes. This is about grammar, so uh, check it out. And if you have questions or if you want to give opinion or comment, we are going to do that after watching the video. So here we go. Hi, friends. I'm Rachna, and I'm back. Well, last evening, I happened to meet my friend's daughter, who's in class three. And uh, she was in a very bad mood, very upset, very angry, very rebellious. So I asked her what happened. And she said, I dislike my teacher. She makes me do a lot of homework. And I said, OK, that's all right. She has a right to make you do a lot of homework. And well, she uses authority, so she can make you do a lot of homework. Fair enough. So she went and told her mother that I'm really upset. And the mother said, well, you have to do your homework. She said, I'll do it on one condition if you buy me an ice cream. So you know what she did? She got her mother to buy her ice cream. Well, this is what we're going to learn in today's class. Using 
two verbs make and get not in the literal meaning but as causative verbs so they're causatives when i say causatives means someone is causing an action from the other person so you cause someone to do something you make people do things okay so we're going to take a look at make now make is the present form the past is made okay well in the beginning of this lesson i told you she was upset because she said my teacher makes me do a lot of homework that means when she used make it means you make somebody do something that's the structure so when you make somebody do something you're using authority power or you force someone you compel someone leaving the other person with little or no option left okay so it could be out of force you compel use authority okay so let's take a look at the first example i wanted to get home early now well i'm talking about yesterday so i wanted the past tense i wanted to get home early but my boss made me stay late well last minute work pressure had to complete a project so my boss made me stay late now why am i using made me stay late because my boss caused me he is the causative that i stayed late all right now let's look at the structure make somebody do something so this is the past made somebody who is that somebody me do something do what stay late now why do i use the structure is because my boss uses authority he doesn't have to re you know request me or kind of beg me or cajole me to stay late it's my job he's given me some assignments that i have to complete or rather i had to complete yesterday so he made me stay late now if you look at the verb made that's in the past tense it does not mean to make or to produce or to manufacture something it takes a different meaning it becomes a causative verb and this causative verb in this structure means somebody makes you do, make somebody do something okay so you are my boss made me i'm i'm the somebody do what stay late so he is the causative so made is the causative becomes a causative he caused me to stay late okay let's take a look at the next sentence heavy rain made us stay inside all day well it was a situation again we're talking about probably last week past tense now make somebody make who we us now do what stay inside all day well we were forced to we were compelled to we couldn't get out in the heavy rains so there was no option so the correct way to use it is heavy rain made us stay inside all day there was very little option or rather no option left okay so it was a situation where we were forced to do something and what causes us to stay inside the house heavy rain all right in my last example the policeman made john pull over okay so made john pull over because he was speeding now the policeman has enough authority he can use his power as authority he does not have to beg you he does not have to request you you've broken the rule so what he's going to do he made john pull over because he was speeding okay so that means he caused him to pull over there was no option he used his authority and stopped john gave him a ticket okay now a lot of people make this common error uh, by saying the policeman made john to pull over they put to so remember never use to when you're using make in a causative sentence okay 
so remember you make somebody do something you do not make somebody to do something do not use to all right remember this so when you use power authority when you force when you compel someone remember you use make all right i hope this is clear to you now we're going to take a look at how to use get in causative sentences okay so when you use get the structure is get somebody to do something okay so you get somebody to do something it does not get here does not mean literally to bring it's just a way of saying you get somebody to do something now this structure is a little different from make because like you saw make is you make somebody do something here is you get somebody to do something so when do we use a structure like this we use it when you want to say that you have really convinced maybe begged or even kind of cajoled someone to do something okay so sometimes you have to make a lot of request to people to do something for you so that is the time you use get somebody to do something okay so in my first example he got me to sell my old car at a very low price so a friend of mine really convinced me and requested me to sell my car to him at a very low price so he really maybe even begged me cajoled me and said rachna we're good friends we've been friends for long so come on sell the car to me at this price so yes so he got me to sell my car okay now if i use he made me sell my car it i mean would your friend really force you and compel you no he would request you and kind of convince you to sell the car at a very low price low price so you're using the past tense of get that's got okay so he got me to sell so in this structure remember you have to use to unlike in the structure of make okay in the next example maria always gets her baby to stop crying now when a baby is crying can you shout at him and force him no what do we do we cajole him we convince him we probably show him toys and you know try to calm him down so the effort the convincing that you put in okay or that you do is always gets her baby to stop crying now this is the present form of the verb and remember to put an s because this maria is the third person okay so well a regular habit of hers she always gets her baby to stop crying don't forget to add the to because this would be wrong maria always gets her baby to stop crying no she gets her baby to do something okay so get somebody her baby to do something to stop crying okay in my last example we have my mother got me to cook dinner for her well so when i got home last evening my mother cajoled me and said oh come on today is your turn please i'm tired and i don't think i can go to the kitchen well so she convinced me she cajoled me and uh, well she promised me promised to take me shopping next week so yes she convinced me to cook dinner for her so what did she do she got me to cook dinner for her but supposing my mother forced me there was no option she told me rachna you have to then i would use she she made me cook dinner for her okay friends so this is the basic difference between both the sentences both are grammatically correct the only thing you need to remember is when you make somebody do something that means you are forcing you are compelling but yes when you get somebody to do something you're kind of convincing you're cajoling you're begging you're requesting you're pleading okay so i hope this lesson is clear and well this brings me to the end of this lesson i have a small test for you please take the test by going on to learnix dot in 
do let me know your scores. I'll be back soon with a new lesson. Till then, take care and bye. Okay, what did you get from the video? This is a review, of course, but what did you get from this? This is a review, teacher, about uh, in the in the in the video, a uh, Rash Rashna uh, show show the 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 different use uh, the make and get. This is a causative verbs. Very good. Yeah, casually verbs. It's interesting what she explained that with make, you are forcing somebody to do something. That is very important. And to get is like asking to do something. So uh, make is like more uh, obligatory. And get is like more like requesting. And that is something. And the rest is exactly the same that we checked on class. And remember the grammar of get is with two and make is with the base form of the verb. So that would be it. And it's interesting because this is, I mean, in, you know that in India, a lot of people, they speak English a lot. There are a lot of smart people there, but it's very interesting, the accent, right? So the way that they speak, even when it's the same English, it's, it starts a little different. The same happens with the Latin American people. When you speak with somebody from Latin America that speaks Spanish, you, in the accent, in the pronunciation, in the way we speak, you notice that you are from Latin America. The same happens with the Chinese people, with any other people around the world. Whenever they speak English, you, you know, you know that they are from certain part of the world. They, they are speaking uh, very fast. Very fast. That is because uh, the Hindi, uh, that is the language that they speak, is very fast as well. So... Uh -huh. The same happens here. Sometimes pronunciation of one word or the other is, is because of the accent that we have. So is is in the, the idiom, the idiom. Yeah, the language is that one. Okay. Very good. Perfect. So we are going to continue with book. Let me just get that. All right. Okay. So this is the book and we're going to continue and finishing unit number three. It says, uh, well, still we're branding, right? I will be able to design a basic checklist of the steps to define the brand of the product. And in the number one says, how do you create a new brand or restore an existing one? What do you think? Or do you create a new brand or restore an existing one? What what is, is the is the restore teacher? Yeah, restore is when you have something and you make you do some changes to the one that you have already, so it's better or anything. In this in this question, teacher, for me is 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 better create a new brand. For, for the brand uh, is the new the new mind the the new the new thing in my mind on the mind of the customers. Okay, yeah, that, that is much better. Definitely, I mean, it's easier to create a brand. What is difficult is to position them in front of people to have success, right? Because when you restore the brand, that is also difficult because sometimes the perception that people have about that brand to change. The uh, perception of people also. So, yeah, I believe both happen. Yes, teacher, interesting because for me it is uh, it's better create a new a new brand because restore an exciting one uh, when the branding uh, is decreased, uh, re restore. This brand for me is, is most difficult. Yeah, you are right. I mean, the perception that you have from, from that brand is, is something very difficult to change. You need to invest a lot of time, a lot of money, 
and be be a very creative uh, scientific people. It is. Okay, and uh, the other question says, is it effective to try and promote your product or service to everyone? Well, the answer is logically yes, right? But you need to do it very well. So it's not just to do it, you need to, to think about it and check it out very well. All right, we have a conversation since Angela and Matteo are discussing about basic ideas to start developing a brand create a conversation and take turns practicing this. As usual, I'm going to tell you the pronunciation, then you are going to tell me uh, pronunciation questions, practice, and then we're going to check the vocabulary. So it says, I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any custom. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Do you have any pronunciation questions? Yes, teacher. When Mateo uh, say in the second line, in the first paragraph, uh, I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely, barely is, is correct? Barely. 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 Good. Any other pronunciation questions? Yes, teacher. Yep. And the... Uh... Three line, trouble, 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 uh, paragraph of Angela is a uh, second line. The decided, 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 yeah, decided, decided. Okay, thank you, teacher. You are welcome. Any other pronunciation questions? Okay, so let's practice. Let's see how it goes. Uh, we're going to start with Juan Roberto and Oscar René. Okay, I am start. Okay. Okay. I went into business as, as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customers. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price that they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do you do that? I just usually that customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of cl clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, very good, perfect. Now 
Ernesto and uh, is it possible for you, Jose Alfredo? Maybe not. Okay, so Ernesto and Silvia Patricia, I say two more. Okay. Okay. I went, pardon. Points. Okay, okay. Uh, I went into, into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap, a cheap price, but they seem to prefer that competition. Probably, probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can help to do all the advertising. You already decide what kind of love you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with, uh, with and define the brand you want. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Oseas and Roberto Carlos. Okay. <clears throat> I went into business as a lawyer since months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people to find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Okay, sorry about this. Uh, it's just my, my matching, my yeah. computer. Okay, uh, you read. Uh, I go with the second paragraph. Yeah, yes. you're right, you're right. Okay, okay. Uh, probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just, I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decide what kind of line you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of Thanks. client you want, kind, kind of client you want to work with and find the brand you want. Very good, perfect, thank you. So let's see, now we go with Veronica Elizabeth and Carla Alejandra Castillo. Hello, who is start, teacher? Uh, you can start if you want. Okay, I'm Mateo, okay. I went, in, I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How, how do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, uh, Blanca Tunaka and Ana Hernandez. I am Mateo. Okay. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but um, barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. 
Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve their business. How how do I do that? I use usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can you can can help you to do all the advertising. You already decide what kind of blow you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work while they define the brand you want. Very good, perfect, thank you. All right, Victor Reyes, is it possible for you? Yes. Okay, Victor and Maria Julia. Okay, okay I, I start. Okay. okay. I went into the business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customers. I help people find the best way of the of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the, the brand of the services you, you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do something, uh, some promotion for me with business cards. Your client can help you to do all the advertising. The, you already decided what kind of, of love you focus on now. You have to focus on the kind of client you want to work with and define the brand you want. Very good, perfect, thank you. Let's see now, Mauricio Rivera and Sandra Gomez. Okay. Okay. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago but I barely get any customers. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to be the of the service. You are probably to be about the business. Provide. How do I do that? It's, I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. You cry can help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now you have a focus on the kind of client you want to work with and the final brand you want. Very good, perfect, thank you. Uh Jennifer Amaja, is it possible for you? Okay, not possible. I believe everybody else is did it, right? Is anybody missing? Check. Ah, Ramiro. Ramiro, and uh, let's see. Okay, and Juan Roberto, please help Ramiro. Okay. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago. But... Out legal for him to the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do you do that? I do believe for me. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of cl clients you want to work with and with and define the brand you want. Very good, perfect, thank you. So let's check uh, some things. Um, remember the pronunciation, it is barely, barely, okay. Uh, do you know what is barely? 
tipo apenas 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 ah, very good apenas so cuando decimos anatíos yeah. so barely. <laughs> I barely I can barely do something whatever right? barely uh, barely uh, let's see trouble what is trouble Problema. Problemas, de esos que no queremos. Very good. Problema. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, define. That is the position. Define. Mm, definir. Definir, very good. Providing. That is the pronunciation here. Providing. But, so, providing. Well, yeah. Brindando, proveyendo. Prove very good. Uh, I don't see any other. Do you have any questions here? Okay. So let's move on and we're going to do the exercise. This is going to be according to the conversation that we have here. So uh, let's try to, to complete it. I will give you a few minutes for you to finish and let's see how it goes. Hi. Okay, so let's check. Number one, what's going to be? I help people find the best way of out of legal trouble. Very good. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble. This is very interesting because the best way out, this is to get a way out. Okay. I find. All right. Number two, who's going to be? I just usually I let customers uh, let customers do some advertising for me. Okay, very good. I you I just usually let customers do some advertising for me. Nice. And the last one, who's gonna be? You're trying to help you to do all the advertising. Very good. 
your clients can't help you to do all the advertising. Nice. Perfect. So let's go to the grammar that I know that you really like. So let's see. Um, Sylvia, Sintuno, could you please help me reading this chart? Okay. Birds help and let. Help. Plus. Perdón? Plus. Plus. Um, help plus someone plus base four of their infinitive. The training helps small business owners to play. Replicate. Replicate, thank you. The success of big brands. A marketing expert could help you to understand the basic principles of branding. Let plus some, someone plus base for of a bear. Some company lets clients go through a service trial before, try before they decide to purchase. An effective brand lets people explore the benefit of their product. Very good, perfect. Okay, so this is causative verbs part two, which I already made and get. So uh, now we're going to check the verbs help and let. So we can use help plus someone uh, plus the base form of a verb or the infinitive. So with help, we can use both the uh, base form or the infinitive. For example, the training helps small business owners replicate. Um, this is replicate is the base form. So replicate the success of big brands. Do you remember what is replicate? Replicar. Very good, that is it. And uh, the second example says a marketing expert could help you to understand the basic principles of branding. So in this case, we use the infinitive to understand. Remember that all the infinitive is to, and then the base form of the verb. Okay, uh, principles. Do you remember what is principles? Principios. Principios, very good. That will be it. On the other hand, we have let, plus someone plus the base form of a verb. Here with let, we're going to use only the base form of verb. And it said some companies let clients go through a service trial before they decide to purchase. What is to go through? Do you know what is go through? A través. Ir a través de. Very good. <laughs> So, uh, the other one is trial. What is trial? Okay, when we say a service trial is like una prueba de servicios. Like, for example, Netflix, they give you 30, uh, 30 days of trial. So you can give it a try for free. If you don't like it, you can cancel. Or you can cancel at any time. So that is a trial. Okay. Uh, another another usage for that word is when you go to the judge and they give you a trial. But that is something different. Okay. And then um, the other example, it says, an effective brand lets people explore the benefits of their products. So, again, remember that helps, in this case, is third person. So, helps is going to tell you the tense of the sentence. This one can be, or this one let, can be in simple present, present continuous, in past, in future. So, this verb is the one that is going to change. For example, here says let's, because this third person, an effective brand. Only one is a third person. So this is very important for you to remember when you are going to create sentences with this structure. Do you have any questions on this? 
teacher in in yeah. this in this example or this sentence in Spanish is una efectiva marca deja a las personas explorar los beneficios de sus productos. Very good. Yeah, some like that. Okay. Thank you. Any other question? Okay, so now we're going to do the exercise. Use the verbs in parentheses to complete the sentences. So I will give you a few minutes for you to finish and you can see here the chart for you to guide yourself. Okay, teacher. Think about how you finish.
Okay, so let's check. Number one, who wants to say number one? Think about how your business help your customer to dissatisfy their needs. Very good. Think about how your business helps. This one is with S because it's a third person. Helps your customers satisfy their needs. Very good. Perfect. Who wants to share number two? Number two, teacher. Okay. Investors won't let companies develop without a plan to improve business brand. Very good. Investors won't let companies develop without a plan to improve business brands. Perfect. Number three, who wants to share number three? I go. Okay. The plan helps employees become part of brand. Very good. The plan helps, again, with S, employees. Uh, here you can say become or to become. Any of those is fine. Okay. Good. Uh, part of the plan. Number four. Who wants to share number four? Being specific about a business brand, let customer identify our product easily. Very good. Being specific about a business brand, let's, again with S, right? Let's, because it's a business brand, one only. Uh, customers identify our products easily. Very good. And the number five, who wants to share number five? Branding let the customer at a perceived value to the product. Very good. Branding let the customer, yeah, branding lets actually let the lets the customer uh add a perceived value to the product. That is. Uh, do you have any questions here? In this exercise. Teacher, in the in the five sentence, uh, branding let Let's, with yeah, with S, because in this case, branding is a noun and it's a specific thing. It's just one thing. Okay, is, is, the, is the same uh, example for the for the ruler? For example, the training helps. Exactly. Okay, thank you. Very good, perfect. Okay. So now we're going to do exercise six. How do you design a checklist of steps to define the brand of a product? Read the basic checklist below and discuss it with a partner. Okay. So uh, let's read that first. Okay. We are going to check who should read. See. Um, Oseas, could you please help me reading the chart? Okay. Um, is your brand strong enough to give you the internal and external value that you need in your marketing? Check yes or no for the following descriptors. Uh, your brand relate related to your target audience instantly without too much thought. I have to answer. No, no, just read. Uh, okay. Uh, your brand shares the uniqueness of you of what you offer and why it is important. The brand reflects the promise that you are making to who you are targeting. Your brand reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer. Very good, perfect. So this is a very nice exercise because it gives you a checklist so you analyze if uh, you are doing a very good branding. So it says, your is your brand strong enough 
um, to give you the internal and external value that you need in your market. So you are going to check just And number one says your brand relates to your target audience instantly without too much doubt. Uh, so relate is a relationship, right? So the idea is, uh, is your brand, I mean, people see your brand and they think about your product instantly or very, very fast. So if you believe that that is not the answer, uh, we need to change something. Then number two says your brand shares the uniqueness of what you offer and why it is. Uh, it's very important that when you have a branding, you have to, to let people feel that you are unique. That even when there are other products in the market, you are the only one, the best, right? So uniqueness is another word that is very important. Number three says the brand reflects the promise that you are making to who you are targeting. That is about the needs. So if you are selling your product to teenagers, for example, are they uh, getting their needs fixed? So are you solving that problem? Are you giving them what you promised that you were going to give? And the number four, your brand reflects the values that you want to represent as a customer. Uh, yeah, this part of the values, this part of how you are uh, in a social way is something that nowadays is very important. So for example, if you if you really care about recycling materials or saving the nature or being inclusive for people, and nowadays it's very important for people that Companies try to think this way. So it's uh, something that you need to think when you are doing some branding. And it's very easy because you think about the questions and just click yes or no. If the answer is no, then of course you need to change something. Uh, do you have any questions here in this exercise? Excuse me, teacher, you can repeat, please. I can hear you. Uh, what the last one. You, well, uh, the uh, last one. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, so your brand reflects the values that you want to represent the customer, meaning that, uh, yeah, there are some values that your companies have, right? So uh, it's part of the mission, the vision. If you are uh, related, if you are a green, for example, a green company that you want to, to save the planet or things like that. So those things are very important. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Perfect. So we are not going to do the analysis of this one, uh, but we are going to go to the other part that is our reading. Uh, this is something good. It says, I will be able to describe strategies to make a brand memorable. What is something memorable? Como la historia? Something like that one, right? It's when you have a memory of the brand. In mind, in mind that your company creates memories for a lot of people. So that is a branding that is amazing. And it's the example of Coca-Cola. That is the brand that comes to my mind. So for example, when we speak about the advertising, about Santa Claus or the, the polar bear, or many situations, you remember something. It's, it's when, a memory that you have, right? When I was a child, I remember this action, this advertising, this publicity. So that, that is the real brand. So people remember and they relate the product with happiness, with feeling fine. Of course, if you achieve something like that, Definitely, definitely, you are going to, I mean, it's going to be a very good product. Right? And in the uh, number one says, let's start. What makes a brand memory? What do you believe? What are the elements that make a brand memory? I think it's uh, a brand memory. Do it uh, 
the uh, ready to use instantly uh, for the customer, for example, or uh, attractive this uh, your logo and uh, the 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 mark, the brand the, the, is the what uh, the Fidley is uh, very important. Very good. Actually, you say something very important. The feeling. So when you want to make a brand memorable, memorable, you need to touch people's feeling. That is it. If you are able to touch the feelings of the people, yeah, make them happy, make them sad, make them whatever you want. They are going to you and your brand. Definitely. And uh, the other question says, how effective is it to copy a business idea? Do you believe it's effective to copy another company's idea? Sure. I think that the brand, uh, a brand sold is a problem the the people. Yeah. The, for example, uh, Tropigas. Uh, Sello Amarillo is uh, it's com comfortable, confiable. Uh, yeah, it's uh, trustable, yeah. Uh, oh, it's una marca. Tropigas is better. Yeah, yeah. another Zeta Gas and, and Tomsa. And it's another brand. The only Tropigas is uh, solves the problem. It's quality. Okay, very true. Actually, you are right. I mean, the, the, ¿cómo se decía aquello? Era un mensaje subliminal. <laughs> yeah, it's a message that they launch yeah. so you can get yeah. related to the bar, right? Yeah. <laughs> very good. Okay, so now we're going to read the article. And I'm going to read, and uh, well, uh, let me, just read the instructions. It says, read the article about the importance of being first to create a memorable brand. Then answer the questions below and check the answers to the part. So as usual, I am going to read. You are going to check pronunciation. Then you are going to read. And then we are going to check uh, the meaning of the words. Okay? Remember that when we read, it's like telling a story, right? Uh, intonation is very important. The way that you express the ideas is very important. Also, the punctuation right, is very important. When you read. So here we go. About 40 years ago, marketing strategists, I rise, I'll rise, and Yaltro offered the world a way to think about making a brand memory. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect's mind, representing a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scotch tape, Kleenex, Xerox, it's not accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can't help ourselves. Marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention, and if it, it really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position, or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect's mind, with the same perception you had hoped to create, you'll find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Netflix would have never made it if Reed Hastings' idea had been to open a bunch of stores to compete with Blockbuster. At the time, Netflix launched the perception of Blockbuster was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the go-to place to rent books. Netflix sidestepped 
that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to win movies online. That was. Okay, do you have any pronunciation questions? Yes, teacher, in the first line, uh, about 40 years ago, marketing strategist, this name, all rise, all rise. All rise, yeah, all rise. All rise, okay. And Jack, throat, throat, throat. Yeah. Throat. throat, you can say throat. Throat, okay, thank you. Okay, any other questions? Memorable, teacher. You say in English. Memorable. Memorable. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other pronunciation questions? In the last paragraph, in the uh, line number three, neck fit seed seed side 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 step. Yeah, side step. Side step. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, so it's time for us to read. Uh, let's start with Ernesto. Let's see how it goes. Okay, teacher. About 40 years ago, marketing strategist Al Rice and Jack Throat offered the word a way to think about marketing a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospects, mind representing a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scott Tape, Kleenex, Xerox. It's no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can't help ourselves. Marketers. Now, these two, if a product gets our, our attention and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect's mind with the same perception you had hoped to create. You'll find is it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perce perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Netflix would have never made it if Reed Hastings idea has been to open to bunch of a store to compete with blockbusters. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of blockbusters was firmly established in the minds of the most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent a movie online. That was new. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna go with Maria. Yeah. Okay. About, uh, about 40, 40 years ago, mar marketing strategies are right and Jack to offer the words a way to think about making a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered 
is to be fair to be first into your prospect prospect mark my mind representing a clear perception think about all the brands that have become synonymous white their function scott tape clinic xerox it's no accident they were all the first people love people love love to know what is new we can help ourselves mark marketer know this too if a product get our attention and it if it really is is new it gets more than our attention it gets remembered it is it is easier to just copy a business idea political position or or organizational mission from someone else but if someone else already has scoring into your prospect my my with the song the song perception you had happened to create your find it is hard to push them out a better plan is to pick the a different perception one that you can be first to put into your prospect mind netflix war have never might in in a free hosting idea helping to open a bush of story to to compete to compete with blockbuster at the time netflix launched the perception of blockbuster was firmly established in the in the mind of of most prospect has to go to play to place to rent movie netflix side step that problem you create a perception of is itself has to go to place to rent movie online that was new okay very good thank you very much uh, oscar rene Okay. About four years ago, marketing strategy of Real East Jacket showed offered the work and way to think about maybe a brand memorable memorable, the best way to the remember remember it is to to be first into your prospect mind. Representing, representing a clear perception being about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. God take clinic set of it to it is not accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new we can help. Also, best market marketers know this too. Is a product gets our attention and is it is really new? It gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. Is eraser to just copy a business idea, political position, and organization mission for someone else. But if someone else uh, already has gotten into your prospect mind with the same perception you have hoped to create, you find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put and into just perfect mind. Netflix 
would have never made made it it is real hasten idea uh been to open a bunch of stores to complete with blockbuster at the time Netflix launched the perception of blockbuster was firmly established in the mean Mind, minds, minds must prospect, prospect as go to go places to rent movies. Netflix slice slice the the problem with casting a perception is of itself as to go as, as the go to place the rent movies online that was new. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, Silvia Patricia. Okay, about four years ago, marketing strategies or real and Jack True offered the world a way to think about making a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect mind represent. Representing a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scope take, Kleenex, Xerox, it's no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves, ourselves, ourselves. ourselves marketers now is too if a product gets our attention and if it really is new it gets more than our attention it gets remembered it is easier to just copy a business idea political position or organizational mission from someone else but if someone else are really as going into, into your prospect, my with the same perception you have hope to create. You find it is hard to push them up. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put in your prospect mind. Netflix will have never made it is Reed Hastings' idea has been to open a bunch of stores to complete with blockbusters. Of the time Netflix launched, the perception of blockbusters was firmly established, established in the minds of most prospects as the go to place to rent movies. Netflix by distance the problem by create a perception of itself, itself has the go to place to run movies online that's what's new very good perfect thank you now carla alejandra castillo About 40 years ago, marketing strategies, All Rise and Jack Crow offered the world a way to think about making a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect's mind, representing a clear reception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function, scotch tape, planets, Xerox, it's not accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention, and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political, political position, or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten 
into your prospect's mind with the same perception you had hoped to create, you'll find it is hard to put them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Netflix will have never made it is it if Reed Hastings' idea had been to open a bunch of stores to compete with Blockbuster. At, this, at the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbusters was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Roberto Carlos. Think about four years ago, marketing strategies and Jadroft offered the world a way to think about making a brand memory. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect, into your prospect mind, representing a clean, a clear perception. Think about the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scotch, tape, Kleenex, Xerox is, is no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Marketer, notice too. Product get our attention. And if, and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention. Get remembered. It it is easier to just copy business idea idea. Political position or organizational missing someone else. But this someone else uh, already has gotten in your prospect mind with the same perception you have. Hope you to create your thing. Your thing, it is hard to push them out. Other is to pick a different perception. When done, you can be the first to put into your prospect mind. Netflix will help never make it if free, real casting, casting's idea has been to open a bunch of stores to compete with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbuster was fir firmly established and the established. established. In the mind, the means of minds, minds of most prospects as the go-to place to rent movie. Netflix sidestepped a problem by creating a perception of itself as, as the go to place to rent moving online that was new. Very good, perfect. Thank you. I now... need glasses. <laughs> okay. Uh, Oseas Figueroa. <clears throat> About four years ago, marketing strategies are rise and Jack True offer the world a way to think about marketing a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect's mind, representing a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scott Tape, Kleenex, Xerox, it's no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten 
into your prospect's mind with the same perception you had hoped to create, you'll find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Netflix would have never made it if Reed Hastings' idea had been to open a bunch of stores to compete with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbuster was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Juan Roberto. About 40 years ago, marketing strategies a. Rice and Jack Trout offer the world a way to think about making a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect's mind presenting a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. The Scotch tape, Kleenex, Xerox, it's no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention and if it is really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position, or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect mind with the same perception, you have help it to create, you'll find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Netflix would have never made, made it if Reed Hastings' idea had been to open a bunch of stores to compete with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbuster was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Now, uh, Ana Hernandez. Okay, about for its your sake, marketing strategies are rise and Jack Trout offer the world away to think about uh, making a brand memorable. The best way to be, to be remembered is to be first into your prospect mind or presenting a clear per perception. Think about all the brands that have become uh, synon synonymous uh, with the faction Scotch Day Clinic Xerox. It's no accident there. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Marketers know this too. If a product get our attention and if it is really is new it gets more than more our attention it gets remembered it is easier to just copy a business idea political position and organizational mission from someone else but but if someone else already has gotten into your prospect mind with the same perception you have hope you you'll find it is hard to put them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect mind. Netflix would have never made it if Red Hosting idea has been to open a bunch of us store to compete. Uh, with Black Buster. At the time Netflix launched, uh, the perception of Black Buster was firmly established 
in the mind of most prospects as they go to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as, as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Very good, perfect, thank you. Let's see now, uh, Ramiro. About four years ago, marketing strategies or rise and just throw offered the world a way to think about make it a brand memorable. memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect mind, representing a clear perception. Think about all the brands have, that have become synonymous with, with their function. function. Scott Tape, Kleenex, Xerox, it's no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can help our service. Marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position, or organizational mission for someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect's mind with the same perception you have hoped to create, uh, you, uh, you will find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is, is to pick a different perception, perception one that you can be the first to put into your prospect mind. Netflix will have never made it if Reed has an idea, had been to open to open a bunch of a store to complete uh, to compete white blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of Bost Blockbuster was firmly establishing establishing in the minds of most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Red, uh, Netflix uh, sidestepped that problem by creating the perception on itself as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Veronica Elizabeth. Hello, Veronica Burgos. Yes. Okay. About, about four years ago, marketing strategies, a recent job throw offered the world a way to think about making a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect's mind, representing your perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scott, Tape, Clinics, Xerox. It's not an accident. They were also the first. People ought to know what is new. We can't help all shops. Make is now this too. It a product get our attention. And if it really is new, it gets most more than our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position, position, or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect's mind with the same perception you had hoped hope to create, you'll find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick up a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Netflix will have never made in it a Red Hastings idea have been to open a bunch of stores to compete with Balbuster. At the time Netflix launched, 
the perception of blockbuster was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the go to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go to place to rent movies online that was new. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. So now let's see. Let's see. Eh, Blanca, tú acá. Sí. Sí. About four years ago, marketing strategies all already rise and Jack Throw offered the world a way to think about marketing. A brand memo memorable, the best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect mind, representing a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous, synonymous with their perception. Scott, Scott, State Clinic, Xerox, it's no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can't help force ourselves. Marketers, marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. It's, it is easier to just copy a business idea, political position, or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect mind with the same perception you have hoped to create, you, you, you will find is it hard to push them out? A better plan is to pick, pick up, pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect mind. Netflix would have ne never made in it if real hosting idea had been to open a, a bunch of the stories to compare um, competitive, competitive with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbuster was firmly established in the mind of most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sides tips the that problem by creating a perception of itself has the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. So, the next one is going to be uh, Victor Reyes. Okay. About 40 years ago, marketing strategies are right in just throw offered the world a way to think about making a brand memorable. Memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect mind, representing a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their, with their function, a scotch tape. Clinic, heroes. It's no it's accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can't we can't help all so. Marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention and if there really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. 
it is easier to just copy a business idea, political position, or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect mind with the same perception you have hoped to create, join uh, find it uh, hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect mind. Netflix will have never made it if, if Reed Hoskins' idea have been to open a bunch of stores to compete, to compete uh, with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbuster was firmly establishment, established, established in the minds of, of the most prospect of as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped the problem by creating a perception of, of itself as the to go go to place to rent movies online. That was new. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Mauricio Rivera. Okay. About four years ago, marketing strategies, all rise and Jack Trout offer the world a way to think about making a brand member. The best way to remember it, to be remembered is to be the is to be first into your prospect mind representing a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scotch tapes, Kleenex, Xerox, it's no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what it knew. We can help ourselves. Marketers know this, uh, marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention, and if it's really is new, it's get more than or attention. It gets remembered. It it is easier to it, it is easier to just copy a business idea, political position or organization organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect mind with the same perception you have hoped to create, you'll find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put, in, to put in, into your prospect mind. Netflix would have never made it if Reed Hastings' idea has been to open a bunch of stores to complete with Buff Blast. At the, at the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbuster was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Eric Reyes. Okay. About four years ago, marketing strategies, Al Reels and Jack Trow offered the, the world a way to think about making a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be is to be fierce into your project breaks mind, representing a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function, scope tape, clipnex, xerox. It is no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can't help ourselves. Markers know Know this too. If a product gets our attention and if it 
really is new, it gets more than or attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position, or organiz organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your project's mind with the same perception you had hoped to create, you'll find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put, put into your prospect mind. Netflix would have never made it if Reed Hastings, Hastings' idea had been to open a bunch of story, stories to com compete, compete, compete yes. with blockbusters. At the time Netflix launched the per perception of blockbusters was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as they go to place the rent movies. Netflix see the expected respect sidespet sidespet that size were run by I'm sorry? Sidespet. Sidespet that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Okay, very good. Now, Sandra Gomez. Okay, teacher. About four years ago, marketing strategies at Riz and Jack Tow offered the word a uh, way to think about marketing and brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first into your prospect mind representing a clear perception. Things about all the brand that have become synonymous with their function. Escote clinic servers is no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Marketer know this too. Is a product gets our attention, and it's it really is new. It get more than our attention. It gets remembered. Is it is easier to just copy a business idea. idea. Political position or organizational mission for someone else. What is someone else already? As guardian in the prospect, mind with the same perception you have of to create your thing. If it's hard to push them out, a better plan is to pick a different perception where that you can be the first to put in your prospect mind. Next, please. Well, how never mind it if Red has him. Idea had been to open a branch of a store to compete with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of the roster was firmly established in the main of the most prospect as the go-to place to rent movie Netflix say spell. Does problem be creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online? That's what new. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. So let's check a few things, okay? Vocabulary and pronunciation. Uh, we have, let's see, uh, memory, remember, memory. 
remembered. Uh, mind. What is mind? Do you remember what is mind? Mente. Very good. Mente. Okay. Uh, let's see. Synonymous. Synonymo. Let's see. Okay, what is we can help? What is can help? No puedes ayudar. No se puede ayudar. Como que ellos no pueden ayudar. Actually, it's not like that. Um, when we say I can help, it's like when we say in Spanish, no lo puedo evitar. Okay, it's an oh, expression. Okay. It's an expression in English that, yeah, it's not, the, tra the translation is not exactly what it's in. So uh, whenever you say I can help, it's no lo puedo evitar. I just can't help. Okay, uh, ourselves, remember the pronunciation, ourselves. 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 Nosotros mismos. Yeah. That Our is that. Ourselves. Okay. Hold. Me. Remember the pronunciation is hold. 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 Up. Trans. Yeah. What is hold. to pick? Pick something. Yeah. Recoger. Recoger, escoger. Very good. Let's see. A bunch. What is a bunch? Variedad, algo así. Un montón. Un montón. Un manojo. Very good. Uh, pronunciation here is compete. 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 What is launched? Very good. Established. Remember the pronunciation is established. 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 What is size step? Side step. Okay, side step is hacerse a un lado. Sí. Uh, here where it says go to is like the place where you can go to do something, right? It's very literal. So uh, do you have any other questions, pronunciation or vocabulary questions? No, teacher. Thank okay. You. Very good. Perfect. So let's just finish this exercise. <clears throat> Who offered the concept of memorable branding? According to the thing, of course. Who offered the concept of memorable branding? All right. All right. And Jack Throat. And Jack Throat. Very good. Perfect. All right. And Jack Throat. Question number two. What are some brands that have become synonymous with their function? Xerox. Scott Pay. Phoenix. Xerox. Phoenix. Very good. So that is true, right? Uh, people, he says, Pasame el Scotch. Pero Scotch es la marca. So it's not. It's not Tay, right? So that, that is memorable. <laughs> that is memorable. Yeah. Number three, what is a better alternative to creating the perception of an already existing product? One that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Very good. To be into your prospect's mind. Nice. Number four, what will have happened if Reed Hastings has opened and rents at video stores instead of innovating the service? That is not in the reading, but you can analyze that. What will what 
they uh, they think they they have to, been to open a bunch of a store to compete. Yeah, probably what had happened is that Netflix didn't exist, right? Or maybe they didn't create something new. In my house, the world right now, Blockbuster doesn't exist anymore. And it's because of Netflix, right? So that was a big impact. And what did Netflix do differently? I believe that it's kind of the same answer, right? They changed. They sidestepped from the the way that Blockbuster were doing things. They think differently. To, to the different differently is the place to rent movies online. Exactly. So they made that, they reinvented. So they did something. Okay, okay my friends. So here we finish the unit three and tomorrow we're going to start the unit double four. Perfect. So let's check the attendance and then let's go to bed. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Hey. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. I'm here. Good. Present. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present, teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present, teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Present. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Victor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Perfect, my friends. It was a pleasure to be with you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night and rest in English. Rest a lot, teacher. Have a Sorry. nice night. Sorry. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Pero, Víctor.